Dave. Hey, welcome. Appreciate you coming out today. No, oh, thanks for inviting This me. is awesome. We're going to talk about a lot of different things. And uh, when we do these types of series, we sometimes it's really apparent what the name of the series might be. This one, since it'll be a little bit all over the board over the next few months, uh, I thought maybe we just call it maybe the Wood Tech series. And where I came up with that is because you're currently working and have worked for decades at the Wood Technology Center. And I thought maybe you could just tell us uh, what is it? Where is it? What do they do? How about maybe a little bit of your background at first and how you ended up there and maybe go through kind of the decades, multiple decades and naming of the school and kind of where you're at now and what's offered. Sure. Well, first, as far as my background, I started at a company called Schooner Creek Boat Works in Portland, Oregon. And uh, we built Fast and Furious. We built some amazing boats, uh, a lot of composite boats, a lot of cold molded boats. While I was at Schooner Creek, we had an opportunity to invite this very famous boat builder. And they wanted to do talks not just in Portland, Oregon, which is where Schooner Creek was located, but also up here in Seattle. Oh. And um, at the time, I went to some of the vendors down here, like Fishery Supply and the Lake and everything, and said, hey, do you know any place we might be able to have a talk like this? And the next thing, you gotta go to that school up on the hill. And I said, what school? I didn't know anything about a trade school. Uh -huh. When I started, I just got dumped into a very busy shop, and uh, that's why I tell my students I'm very jealous of them, because they'll know which direction to board cups, and they'll know about different adhesives and screw fastenings and techniques and things I didn't know anything about. Mm. So at any rate, uh, I came up and I talked to the lead instructor at the time, Dave Mullins, and he was kind enough to give us an intro and said, you know what, I think we can get Broadway Performance Hall. So we got Broadway Performance Hall with 250 boat builders. It was fantastic. Because this and person is a big draw, so you could draw regionally, so you need a, a nice was, place to present. And he oh. was an amazing builder. The things that they built, in fact, Adagio, which is still racing on the Great Lakes, is still winning after 45 years. Holy so God. it's been a long time, and he was a very, very uh, wonderful human being. At any rate, what happened was, I, I, that was the first introduction to the school. And what was the name existed. of the school at that time? The school was named Gompers. Okay. Now, so going back, this school, for instance, our boat building program is celebrating its 85th year this year of oh. offering continuous boat building and repair classes. Okay. So when I look back at all the changes, we really trace our history to Seattle Public Schools. And we, the Seattle Public Schools had very strong trade education back in the early 1900s. Enough that they came up with a technical school called Edison Technical School. And that's when we first started the formal program in 1936, about 1939 for carpentry, and then 1946 for cabinet making and millwork. So those three programs have been going really since those dates. Wow, wow. And it seemed like Edison Technical, they might have taught a few other Basic education type They had too. everything, welding, machining, printing, um, a lot of things, uh, the trades that are not no longer extant, but uh, you think of Bruce Lee went to Edison Technical. Mm -hmm. And of course, Ed Dunn went to Edison Technical well, as well. It's so ironic, you and I have been talking about this for a few months, then all of a sudden somebody brings out a little report card with grade marks from Ed yep. Dunn Jr. in 1954 with an English class or something. So yeah, pretty wild. So shoot, uh, Edison Technical, Gompers. So then what happened was Edison Technical um, relocated. And first the, the boat building program went down to the north end, very close to uh, your Lake Union yard okay. at the foot of Stone Way. And the other programs ended up going into the old Rainier Elementary School. Uh -huh. And they were actually uh, under there during the war, especially. After the war, they said, hey, we need a new trade education place. And they were going to call it uh, the Rainier Trades Branch of Edison Technical. At the time, the union came in and said, you know what? We should name this place after Samuel Gompers. Now, Samuel Gompers started the American Federation of Labor. So, hey, let's name this after a union uh, stalwart. And that's what they did. And that name lasted until about 1990. Then at that point, it became the Wood Construction Center. And when we moved into our new facility in 2012, it became the Wood Technology Center. So today, quick overview of what's offered. If, okay. I, if I go to the Wood Technology Center, what are your main programs? We have three main programs and another one that was added in 18, so I'll put that at the end. So our three main programs now are cabinet making and architectural woodworking, okay. Okay? boat building and repair, and residential carpentry. Okay. okay. And then finally, in 2018, 
a program was brought over from Seattle Vocational Institute, or SVI, which is just a, a block and a half away from us. And that's the pre-apprenticeship construction training program. Now that's where people will go for a union apprenticeship and it's kind of a job readiness and job exposure, but it's to all the trades, okay? okay, union trades. Now for ours, in terms of like cabinet making and architectural woodworking, um, this is where people come to learn about fine woodworking and very, a lot of precision. Um, we find that with boat building and repair, which is a lot of composites, marine and electrical systems, okay. uh, pneumatics, hydraulics, everything, and then residential carpentry, of course, going all the way from foundations all the way through exterior and interior finishes and all the things that fall in between. Having all three on the same campus is pretty yeah. impressive. If I was gonna go there, what would I walk away with as far as a certificate or a degree? Well, the number one thing we like to think of is you walk away with skills. That's but true. you can get an Associate of Applied Sciences, all of our programs, boat building and repair, cabinet making and architectural woodwork and residential carpentry, yeah. all three are five quarter programs. Now the first quarter you spend with me in core, which is sort of a prelude and allows us time to really work on people to make sure that they, they come up to speed before they go into the three trade areas. Keep them safe. Keep them safe. Okay. And also, most people aren't used to fractional systems. Most people aren't used to the tools and techniques that we use. Okay. So we can gradually phase that in. Okay. So five quarter programs and you wind up with an associate of applied science. That's great. Well, I'm, I'm so glad we were able to connect because uh, in this Dunn Solutions platform and you know, some of the things we do at Dunn Lumber and our association with the Master Builders Association, the workforce development is so huge. So what you're doing, especially in carpentry, but like you say, all those trades, they 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 cross over really well. And you'll get people that are boat builders that end up making cabinets for yeah. somebody or great finished carpenters. So uh, I'm excited about the series, Dave, and the things that we can do together. So I appreciate having you here and looking forward to the rest of this. Thank you. <laughs>